fun, and we both looked at our careers, and the one thing that we said we enjoyed doing while we were employed was this planning process, working with groups. There's an energy you get from working with groups. Mm -hmm. And to replicate that and be helpful in the community was really, really it, exciting. It's, it is so rewarding to see people succeed, mm -hmm. you know, who are working so hard. And if you can just give them a little bit of help to get them to that next level, to be able to step back and look at the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. um, to me, that is extremely gratifying. Well, I think just thinking about there's a place for entrepreneurs because there's always the next thing, the, the thing that has never mm -hmm. been thought of before, whether it's in the tech field or in the you know, restaurant world or in industry, um, to have and encourage that new thinking, that taking the idea to the next level is so important, I think, in, especially in a community like the Toledo area, because for so long we've been so kind of based on a uh, very industrial, um, somewhat auto-driven, um, and I think we've come to the realization, uh, say in the last two to five years, that you know that's, that's important, it's a base, and we wanna maintain that, even though that needs to be rethought and rejuvenated. But there's that, that whole other entrepreneurial piece, you know, whether it's, it's taking um, solar or taking green technologies and developing that. And I think that's where the university can play a great role in getting some of those young people with the new ideas and linking them in with some of the existing industry, you know, build on some of the things that we know and do well, mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, take it off in a different direction. Mm -hmm. But also one of the things that we emphasize for organizations we work with is to look at collaboration. You know, where do you bring things together? Where can you partner? Where's there greater strength in what you have to offer? Mm -hmm. I, I think there's a lot of opportunity for that, um, whether it's within the the nonprofit sector, in you know, governmental or quasi-governmental, in industry, um, of this idea of we we can succeed by putting pulling our strengths together, mm -hmm. versus you know sheer competition in everything mm -hmm. or being very siloed in what we do. It does take a different mindset to approach it from a more holistic, collaborative yeah. viewpoint of, you know, how could we both meet our needs but come together in some way of doing business that would even provide a higher level of service, you know, to the, the people we're out there trying to help. Mm -hmm. when, when we work with an organization, one of the first things we do is look at the stakeholders. Who else? cares about making this organization successful, who else is going to be affected by your success. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that's their, their clients, their, um, their board, their volunteers, their staff. And so we involve all of those people in the process. Mm -hmm. And again, so much of this is applicable to the region as a whole. Oh, sure. Are you yeah. both optimistic about the future of Northwest Ohio in general? I mean, you've been out in the community for so many years. Do you think that we will be a successful region in the 21st century? I think we will. I think we have so many things going for us. It, we're our own worst enemy, and I know we've everybody says this <laughs> about Toledo, but we don't, we, we tend to just focus on the negative. We have so many positive things in this community. Um, I was sitting down thinking and kind of preparing for this of, you know, it's so easy to list the 10 best things about the Toledo area. And so many things come to mind when I do that, but the way we tend to approach it is, oh, what's wrong with it? Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm gonna be the, the glass half full. You know, I'm gonna say we've got, uh, we have water. Uh, we have good education system with, we've got University of Toledo, we've got Lords, we've got Owens Tech, we have, um, we're small enough 
that we're not so overwhelmed with our issues. You know, like, I'm going to pick on Detroit, but it's so big and the problems are so huge. Um, I think we're the right size to be able to tackle our issues. Um, I think if, if the, the piece to me that it's a little weak, needs, needs a little work, is that coming together mm -hmm. around reinforcing all those positive things, making those work for us mm -hmm. instead of focusing on the negative. It's so easy to focus on the mm -hmm. negative.